Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're looking at algebraic substitution, um, part of equations and formula in our SL course for studies. Um, first of all, I guess we're looking at what does substitution mean? Um, we often use the word, I guess, replacement or replace. Um, to explain substitution um, we know that when we uh, are replacing someone on a football field for example or a rugby field um, one's coming on and one's coming off and that works exactly the same in this particular situation I'm going to look at the expression 5a plus 6 now first of all this is an expression because there is currently no answer there's nothing else I can do with this term because I don't know what a is therefore I don't know what the whole expression's worth and this expression is made up of two terms 5a and 6 however if I give you a value of what a is equal to for example 4 then we now can find the value of this expression okay hopefully we remember that there is a multiplication sign between the 5 and the a okay which means that when I substitute the number 4 instead of the a we now get a reasonable uh, question or uh, arithmetic question. Um, we also could write like this five brackets four, okay, plus six. Um, they both mean the same thing, okay, um, but of course, either of these two options we could put into the calculator, okay, to get the answer of 26. Now, in terms of the expectations around your working out, you need to have one of those two okay as part of your working out followed by your answer okay but again you can do this in your head or you can type one of those two directly into the calculator um, to make sure you're correct I kinda like this way because certainly you'll see in a couple of examples something happens if this is a negative number and we're squaring it or to the power of 4 so you have gotta be a little bit careful look um, I've got a couple of questions for you pause it um, have a quick crack and see how you get on and then you can check your answers. Okay, have a go. Well, welcome back guys. Um, how did you go? Hopefully you went okay. So remember for each of these three questions we must show one line of working. For example, we have negative 2 plus 3 lots of 5. Okay, um, you can put the negative 2 in brackets if you wish. There's no number at the front, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. If I now put this into my calculator um, or into my head, we've got negative 2 plus 15, and 15 minus 2 is in fact 13. Okay, the next one, 2r minus 5q. I'm just going to put a little line underneath that so you can see that clearly. Um, so we've got 2 times the r value of 7 minus 5 times the Q value of 5 okay again if you would prefer to write this working out um, I guess there's something like 2 times 7 minus 5 times 5 then you're most welcome to do so as well um, but in certainly this case we can now put into our calculator you can even simplify it for example 2 times 7 is 14 and 5 times 5 is 25 that's not necessary if you have a calculator but you can, certainly can do that and we can hopefully see that the answer there is going to be um, negative 11 And then we have the last question for this page. Again, hopefully you've got this one right, but this is where it becomes just a little bit more challenging. You must be careful. I'm going to do it in a different color. So we've got 2 times p squared. Negative 2. And then we've got a square sign there. Okay, our um, power exponent as it can be called in mathematics now you'll notice I like putting those brackets in because number one I can clearly see um, the numbers that I've substituted into the, the actual expression but there's another reason for that okay if I type this in 2 times negative 2 squared as such what your calculator will come up as 2 times negative 4 and it will give you this answer of negative 8. The problem is that's the wrong answer. Why? Well, 
in this question you can see that we are squaring the negative 2. And what does squaring mean? Well, squaring means to, I'm going to do it over here, times something by itself, which means negative 2 times negative 2. And hopefully we remember that that answer becomes 4. It's a positive number, which means that what we're actually doing here is 2 times 4, which equals positive 8 not the negative 8 we got above. Now how can we uh, ensure we don't make the mistake? We put brackets around the negative 2. Likewise here, I could do the same thing. And if I type that into my calculator, it will square the negative 2, okay, and make it 2 times 4 is 8, getting the correct answer. All right, one last question for you guys. Have a quick crack at this one, um, and then hopefully we should be uh, off and running. Okay. How'd you go? So once again, we are looking at our substitution for our first line. So 2 plus negative 3 to the power of 3. Um, it's safe to use a calculator here, and that will give you the answer straight away. Otherwise, you can do your 2 plus minus 3. Well, that's the same as saying 2 minus 3, okay, which is negative 1 cubed. And if I do negative 1 cubed, we get the answer of negative 1. Remember that because we're doing negative 1 times negative 1, okay, that there in itself is equal to positive 1, then we need to times that by negative 1 again. That leaves me with that negative 1. But how easy is it just to throw into your calculator? Um, much, much easier. And that's what we want to see. If you're allowed to use it, you may as well. And the last one here, square root of C minus B. Well, C is 5. B is negative 3, make sure we put that in. Again, if you're not sure, um, just put your brackets in there, okay, where the b, and even if you want where the c is, to ensure that you have the two negatives. That's because two negatives makes a positive, and we get the answer of the square root of 8, okay, and then we can alternatively put that as a decimal, okay, if we need to be, um, and if a decimal, maybe let's say to one or two decimal places, or to one decimal place, we get 2.8. Okay, that's nice and safe. Um, again, if you put that in your calculus straight away, it will work. But remember, you must have the double negatives in there. Okay, guys, in a nutshell, that is substitution. Very, very basic stuff. But please be aware of the pitfalls, as you've seen, in particular, the one that you need to be wary of is when you're given um, a value for uh, the letter, let's say a equals negative three, and then they say find the value of a squared. We must make sure we put the negative three into brackets to make sure that comes out as positive nine, not negative nine, and that is a really big mistake that a lot of students make. Hope this is useful, guys. Have a crack at the questions, and uh, I'll see you later on.